Is this the new bow? Perfect. Thank you, friend. Love you. And that is how your friendships are made. See, I'm poor because, you know, I can't, uh, I can't afford the new bow. Not at all. Hello, yes, it is me, and I've just been doing university work. Don't mind me. So, this new bow, hmm. Do we charge it with this? Five. How many? I mean, 500. Perfect. So, there you go. One shard equals 100 charges. But I will say, if you bought this bow with no charges in it, you can sacrifice 2,000 of these crystal shards at the crystal singing bowl at Priftiness. Let's just go there real quick. Here we are in Priftiness. Wait, this is the wrong place. So, here's the crystal bowl. I'm not going to do it because this is not my bow. 2,000 thousand shards you could make this corrupt which means it no longer has charges so it's free to use but it does cost a one-off cost of two thousand of these and once you corrupt it uh it becomes untradeable so you're stuck with it forever anyway so let's get into it what is this bow good for well it's a four tick pretty strong bow so given that a uh, blowpipe did just get nerfed so in some places it's going to be better than a blowpipe but in most of the places, it's going to be better. It's going to be good wherever Armadillo Crossbow was good before because this is faster. Let me just gear up real quick. You also might be wondering, why are you wearing crystal armor? I bought this armor ages ago when they uh, released it. And uh, while you have this armor equipped, you get a set effect which buffs your bow. Set bonus, crystal armor. Some accuracy and damage, so 5% and 2.5, 15, 7.5, and 10.5, and which is a grand total of 15% damage and 30% accuracy, which is kind of kind of really good and just for comparison it also the armor has stats itself so let's compare this to armadillo so 58 range armadillo has 63 so it's a little bit worse than armadillo and then we can look at the defense a 120 mage is the most notable defense bonus there and crystal has pretty significantly worse uh defense i say that it actually has better it has better range but worst melee and magic but of course the accuracy and damage buff uh, outweighs the armadillo's slight accuracy boost so that's what we're going to be using also i have rigor unlocked so that's that's what we're going to be using also. All right, let's beat up the dummy. Divine range pot. Rigor. Kaboom. 46. Why do I just have the ancestral hat and not the body or legs? Hmm. Nice bow. Isn't mine, but thanks. Looks dope. The recolor looks better. But yeah, that bow. So, oh, sorry. We didn't even talk about how good the bow looks. Very good job on the bow. It looks sick. And here is some footage of someone I saw earlier with a, uh, a recolor of the bow, which looks even better with Bagasian boots. Mm. Monkey. So you know how I said the bow pipe, uh, the blowpipe got nerfed? Now this is still on release, so we're not quite sure, but basically this is the new blowpipe, <laughs> basically. To compare this to the blowpipe, this is uh, four tick rather than blowpipe, which was two tick, but this has a way longer range. I believe it has the maximum range. And uh, let's go try it as Zora. Now, please don't laugh at me. I haven't done Zora in a long, long time. We avoided the first melee hit. This is good. Well, I want to be testing the bow, not my major gear. Good start, 39. I forgot my anti-venom. Let's just not talk about what happened just then. Alrighty, attempt two. I mean, attempt one. Nice occult necklace switcher, bro. It's fine. We're just here to test the range armor. We don't really care about our magic damage. All right, so let's have a look. Oh, it has no special attack, by the way. I didn't mention that. But so far, it seems like a stronger, but slower. It's half the speed of a blowpipe, but it is way stronger. Well, I just shot a snakeling from all the way across the arena by accident. Oh, vengeance KO. Nearly KO'd myself. Ooh, a clue scroll. Nice. All right, now that we've done one uh, one kill, let's do another kill. But this time, you know how I'm lazy and there's a method where you can just use a twisted bow and, and just kill camp a twisted bow for the entire Zora kill? Let's do that, but with this bow and see uh, see how terribly it goes. Does that sound like a good idea? Sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do it. But first, here you go, Watson. Have a clue scroll. I can already feel the regret. Hey, we actually hit. Hey, we hit again. What the heck? Wait, why is this going so well? I haven't hit a zero yet. What the heck? It's, can you stop? Yo, is this the new lazy method? I wonder if this or twisted bow is better. Yo, I still haven't hit a zero. To be fair, this is the phase that he's weak to range on, so that's fair. Oh, there's the first zero. Why is half his health gone and it's only been like... 30 seconds. <laughs> Why is this thing so accurate? <laughs> to be fair, this is with the armor, 99 range, uh, rigor, everything like that. Say, so, hey, if you're bad at switching like me, just, just, just camp the bow. Max hit 46. It's good enough. Oh my goodness. What is this? Wait, what? How'd that hit me? I've been scammed. But I, I was standing over there and then I stood here. Right, it's death time, Zora. Well, if we ignore the fact that I got hit, he's dead. In a record. What was that? 131. That was quicker than my kill. <laughs> I think this is more so a showcase of how bad I am at switching rather than how good the bow is because, you know, my last kill took 152 um, and that was with switching. But I guess I'm bad at switching because this kill was 20 seconds faster. 
would have been even faster if I didn't get hit by the melee attack. Uh, let's do another one. What can Zora max again? I think it's 44. I guess we're, we're gonna find out soon. Look at this beautiful range. Look at this range. Oh my goodness. With the blowpipe, you'd have to be right in front of the clouds, the poison clouds. Bad Zora. Go back to sleep. 141. Okay. So as a as a reference, my best kill time is 54 seconds, and that was with camping a twisted bow. But I'm, that was pretty good RNG because I just hit 50s all the time. Uh, not too surprisingly. This bow is a little bit worse than a twisted bow in Zora, but also in most situations. Where twisted bow is good now, this bow is also good, but not as good as twisted bow. But saying that, twisted bow is only like 20% better, usually in most cases. Now, in the cases of this versus an armadillo crossbow, we'll use Saradomen as an example. Look at this boy dancing. Yeah, yeah. So this bow versus an armadillo crossbow, this bow is usually like 20 to 30% better than an armadillo crossbow. Also, it's just nicer to use because it's faster. But saying that, I've heard that this bow absolutely shreds Bandos. So you, can, you know where we're going. Forgot any god items and now everyone's angry at me. Come here, give me some health back. Delicious. We have no Bandos items, so once we go in there, there's no turning back. It's go time. Hammer time. Bong. Well, I didn't get the bong sound effect. That makes me sad. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, oh goodness. Please be gentle. All right, I'm going in. Testing bow. Heck yeah. Pew. That's a good start. 45 off the bat. Nice. Uh, wait. Oh, goodness. I just tanked a melee hit. Don't mind me. Auto retaliate on. So I have good range defense. So we're going to do a pro strat of running away. Oh, I think I missed the hit there. Core blimey. A nice 40. Kaboome. This is going surprisingly well. I, I know there's like a pattern. There's like a pattern you're meant to do when you're shooting it, but I don't know that pattern. So we're just gonna, just gonna, oh, a nice 44. Oh, goodness. I'm kind of lucky that he's ranging me every time because I think he can bop like a, a, oh, look at that. I switched to prey melee on the perfect tick. Why is this bow hitting so hard? Oh, tank the melee hit. Easy peasy. And he's dead. Room plate body. I want the pet. Help, I'm dying. Call out the big spec. Oh, shork. I need all of these bones. I need lots of food. I give me that room plate body. The spoils. Bam. Peaches have been created. Drop the hammer. We don't need that. Right, where does Bandos spawn? I think he spawns right there. It's fine. I'm skilled. Look, I'm maxed, by the way. That means I know what I'm doing. All potted up. Good to go. Kabam. The kill has started. Oh, I just tanked a 13 to the face. Oh, let me just tank one more hit. Oh, never mind. He's too slow. Haha. -ha. So I think when you turn the corners, you have to pray melee because that's when, when he can get a hit on, hit on me. Pretty sure the minions can combo you for like over 50, so I should probably, uh, you know, I think I might just camp pray melee because I'm just so bad at running. 39 followed by a 22. Wait. Can, oh, no. Yeah. So right when you turn the corner that he gets a hit on you. Perfect. Kaboom. Oh, goodness. That was a lot of damage. Nature rule. Alright, no matter what, I mean, maybe if we get a bunch of food from these guys, we might be able to do one more kill. Drop me uh, some chili potatoes, please, and some shorks. Oh, he got into range with me. Yeah, this bow is so accurate, dude. Law runes. Right, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the last kill, <laughs> unless I get more drops. Why am I killing the range one first? I have the most range defense. What's up, gamer? Give me all of the health. Ah, uh, yes, a nice eight. They didn't drop me any food. All right, more bones, more peaches. Success. I mean, this kill, we're going to be probably chowing down to some brews. Peach brew combo. Woo! Peach brew. Peach brew. I tanked a melee hit to the face and my health dropped like not a lot. All right, we've recovered. We're kind of running low on that stamina, though. Success. The big guy is down. Quick. Chomp the peaches, because we're leaving anyway. Just give me the loot. Just give me the pet. Damn it. Magic logs. All right, goodbye. Well, that was successful. If you were actually good at the game and or learn Bandos, you'd be able to not take all the hits that I did. But hey, even then, we got like, what, four kills? So um, I've tested the main places where this bow is good. Um, I'll give a quick rundown of where everywhere that it's like best in slot. So it's very good at armadillo, though if you're using the black chin chomper method, then the black chin chomper method is still better, but it's better than a uh, twisted bow at armadillo. It's very similar to a twisted bow at Zora. Uh, most of Chambers of Zeric, it's best for like all of the rooms that we, you, you would use a twisted bow or blowpipe. So it's very good there. Basically, anywhere that you used to use a blowpipe, but now you won't because the blowpipe got nerfed, this replaces it. And this, this replaces the twisted bow in some rare cases. But in most every other case, twisted bow is like 10 to 20% better than this. And also, this is just better than armadillo crossbow by like 10 to 30% all of the time. Like, armadillo crossbow isn't better for anything when that this bow is. Hello. So, um, yes, should you buy this bow? 
But eventually, but probably not now because it's like over 100 mil. But eventually, yes, this bow is very good when you use the full crystal armor with it. Uh, yeah, look at that. I imagine they released a good weapon. Now, I think it's really funny. They just nerfed Blowpipe and then <laughs> they introduced this bow that's like super duper good. So um, make what you will of that. But yes, this bow is good. I tried to uh, buy the bow for one mil. It didn't, hasn't happened yet, but who knows? So Mr. Tharic has done the DPS calculations between this bow and the Twisted Bow, camping either bow at Zora. This bow is slightly worse than a, a T-bow. So my friend Mr. Tharagon has just done some calculations for me. And at Zora, we're comparing camping this bow versus camping the Twisted Bow. So when Zora is blue, the Twisted Bow is 7.5% better than this bow. Then when Zora is green, Twisted Bow is only 4% better than this bow. And then, when Zora is red, this bow is better than Twisted Bow by 2%. So this is it's slightly worse than Twisted Bow still, but... If you have this corrupted, it has no maintenance cost, whereas Twisted Bow has to use uh, Dragon Arrows. So yeah, like I said, very comparable but slightly worse than Twisted Bow in most scenarios. This is kind of a unique case because where Twisted Bow is good now, uh, this bow is usually quite a bit worse, like 10-20%. So other bosses this bow is good at. At Zamruk, this bow is only 5% worse than a T-bow. So again, extremely close. And this has no maintenance cost if you corrupt it. At Calphite Queen, this bow is good. But Blowpipe is ever so slightly better. But also, Blowpipe is quite expensive to maintain. So if you corrupt one of these, then, uh, you know, no maintenance cost. So this one's probably more relatable than uh, bosses. But uh, at Demonic Gorillas, this bow is good. Not as good as Twisted Bow, but this is way more affordable because I imagine this will settle between 50 and 100 mil whereas Twisted Bow is like 800 mil or something. How much is Twisted Bow these days? I've legit never bought a Twisted Bow. For, yeah, 870 mil. So yeah, this bow is like, like a tenth or I think it will be about a tenth. Right now it's like 140 mil I think. That's how much was, pay was paid for this bow at least. TLDR. This bow is very good. So now the stepping ladder for range is Blowpipe, this bow, then Twisted Bow. But this bow is basically the new Blowpipe. Like, it's kind of funny they nerfed the blowpipe, then introduced this. In rare instances, the blowpipe is better than this. In, like, against Hydra, blowpipe is better. Because blowpipe, you get the Slayer Helm. Hey, would you like a Sourdome Godsword? 24 mil! I bought the Esher. Thank you. Rune Meds Helms received. I forgot where I, what I was saying. <laughs> good bow. You should probably buy it, because, uh, I... T I heard it's going up, which is good for me, because that means I'm not going to lose any money. Unfortunately, I am poor, so I'm going to have to sell this back and, uh... Uh, refund my friend, but thank you for watching leave a comment how you feel about this bow. It's pretty good uh, I can't I don't think I can be negative about it It's just it just replaced the blow uh, the blowpipe in most ways and the twisted bow in some ways So yeah, pretty good. Okay, a good thing I had this crystal armor before this update because now it's expensive I'm sorry bow. I'm gonna wait. I think it had 449 charge. That's 44 or 45 crystal shards that I've just let to waste. I'm sorry. Uncharge the bow. Goodbye. Look at that. Good swap. Yoink. My bow now. <laughs> Easy. He sold it back and made a 7 mil profit. I said whatever money he lost on the boat, I would pay it back, but he made profit. Easy. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, which will be who knows when, dude. Who knows?